my gosh. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the return of the MagSafe. <laughs> Yes, today we are checking out the MagSafe and the MagSafe Duo. This is Mindy and welcome back to a new video. So we're going to open the smaller one first and save the exciting one for the last. <sighs> okay. Oof, look at how sleek this is. The thing I like about MagSafe is that it's all magnet. You don't have to worry about the thing coming off easily. It's just It just sticks there. This is a long cable. Okay, this is USB-C cable and this cannot be removed okay interesting this is a third party case from rhino shields and let's see if it fits no oh it charges yeah it still sticks oh the oh the oh the freaking hell are you okay oh my gosh that was scary but it still charges up real well yeah it's charging up okay it still charges but the magnet isn't as strong this is how MagSafe is supposed to work. Yeah, see, so it's supposed to stick like that and it shouldn't fall off. This is how MagSafe is like and even with the case, this is the Apple Citrus Pink or Pink Citrus case, which is MagSafe compatible. And once you put it here, it sticks and because it's all MagSafe compatible, it won't fall off. It's stuck there very, very tight. I love all things magnet. This is it. Let's check this out. This is the MagSafe Duo. <sighs> Gosh. <Oof. gasps> Look at this and it just folds up and it clicks like a magnet. I mean, I kind of was hoping that this would, but did not expect it. I like how slick this is. Oh gosh, now I understand why people would get this. This is insanely expensive. I still think it's overpriced, but I understand why people would get this. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is for your Apple Watch and this is for your phone. And inside the box, we have the USB-C to lightning cable, which I am still really, 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 really baffled by like why are you charged via lightning why can't you just be usb-c like like everything else you know apple 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 so this magsafe duo doesn't come with any charging brick sadly it only comes with the cable and this and a ton of paperwork which i don't really use and i don't see who would use it if you can save the environment why don't you cut the papers guys but yeah i might be wrong the good news is you can actually use any lightning cable so let's plug it in and it charges the airpods obviously Woo! look at that look at that look at that whoa it charges okay and the apple watch of course gosh i love it i love it i know magnets are not new technology but i just love how nice it is when it just connects magnetically it's just like it's like some kind of magic. Although it's not magic, it's science. Um, <laughs> so what is so special about MagSafe? What's the difference between this and the other Qi wireless chargers out there? Well, this is Apple's proprietary wireless chargers. And MagSafe basically helps you to align your phone so that when you toss your phone onto it, it gets pulled right where it needs to be. Can this charge the older iPhones? Yes. As long as your phone is able to do Qi wireless charging, you can use the MagSafe to charge it. This MagSafe is capable of charging your iPhone 12 up to 15 watts and the MagSafe Duo maxes out at 14 watts. The MagSafe Duo actually requires 27 watts USB-C power brick, which is not included in the box and you have to get it separately. I'll link it below. Previously, Apple could only max out at 7.5 watts wireless charging and now you can max out at 15 watts, so that's pretty sweet. So the question here is why is Apple charging so much for this? I mean, you can't even get this to work out of the box. I would say for such an expensive item, I kind of hope that Apple included the charging brick inside, but I mean, they didn't even include the charging brick for their phones. So like, who are we to complain about the MagSafe, right? But technically, think about it. The MagSafe is all about charging your phones. So shouldn't it come with a charging brick? Good question for Apple. Apple, why? <laughs> but I guess the thing here is that we are paying for convenience. There's no other product quite like this in the market. Yes, there are other three-in-ones, but which comes with MagSafe compatibility, which just closes up like this and like is foldable both ways. 
and which just unplugs and you can just put in your pocket. Nothing is as small as this. Instead of these clumsy wireless chargers that are everywhere, I can have this instead. This is the simplest solution. It makes things much cleaner and of course, magnets. So that is why I was charging so much for this. It just works, you know, it's something that's like palm size, so freaking small. Compact and convenience is why I think people would go for this expensive piece of tech. Is convenience really worth so much? 129 is not cheap, honestly. With 129, I can buy so many other things. Like, I can buy myself a new AirPods. I can buy myself the HomePod Mini. I don't have to spend on this. And like, I already have cables. I already do have wireless chargers. So do I really need to spend 129 bucks on this compact little beauty? Well, do let me try this and test this out for a while more and I'll answer that question in my review video. So subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss it. But do let me know if you have any other questions about this MagSafe Duo and I'll answer them in the next video. If you like anything you see, links in the description box for you to check out. For now, stay maintained, Cherry. Goodbye.